believe it or not, whatever race, whatever religion you are, you need sex. You want sex. That's that's gonna make you happy. Men are weak at the end of the day, so it's 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 really all up to them. So, are, are, what do you want? You wanna you wanna be celibate, or you're gonna have to cave in at some point to what we want. Women have a lot more, way more options than men. Do you think men should withhold attention and resources when they're unhappy with women? They can, but just to let you know, she'll find that attention somewhere else. Do you believe that sex is a need or a want? It's a want. It's a need. I would say it's definitely a want. You don't have to have it to survive. Like, that's biologically, like, explain. Like, we came from animals, and they, that's what they do. They fuck. <laughs> to recreate themselves, so that's like, that's yeah. a need. Sex is a need in a different way. First of all, sex is a need in order to populate the earth, and that is what we are here on this earth to do. So it is a need in that way. However, men's desires are not a need. Is it more of a need or a want for men or for women? I would say, honestly, I think it's about equal. I mean, they, they peak at different times, right? So men in their, in their 20s, they need it more. They want it more. Women in their 40s. Even if it was just an urge, why are men often shamed for wanting it when it's biology? Ooh, I don't know. What if we shame women for having periods? then you're horrible. That's rude. That's like a normal thing. Like, I mean, isn't it equally a normal thing for men to want sex? No. Why not? I don't know. I... If sex wasn't a need for men, why would men invest so much time, effort, and money and risk so much liability in order to get it? I mean, because it's a need. It says it right there. <laughs> what else do men invest that much time and effort into? Masturbating. What else do men invest that much time and effort into? Money. Money to impress women? Yeah. If sex is a need, why is it sold at a luxury price? Um, there is a market. Like, there was a need. Like, when you see that there is a need, there is a market. And they need that. So it sells. Sex sells. Exactly. So when it comes to the current dating market, would you agree that women have more options now than ever, while men have more competition now than ever? I think it's the other way around. If women do have more options than ever, that does mean men have comp competitions already. Well, women want the top 1% of the 1% and they think that it's just everywhere. The majority of men that usually, you know, got money, power and stuff like that, got the more options to choose any girl they want because women come along with respect and success. So for an average man to find a good woman, um, he sometimes have to settle for women that are gonna do whatever the fuck they wanna do cause they're not maybe the alpha. So is it fair to impose these delusional rich alpha male standards upon all men and shame those who don't conform? I feel like you should try your hardest to be you and be the best you you can be, but not for women. You gotta have game, but you can't be like too thirsty. Why are men shamed for being thirsty when women created the drought? We didn't create a drought. Don't women decide who gets sex? I mean, I guess you could kind of argue that. You could say that. Are men more thirsty for sex or are women more thirsty for attention? I think men, because y'all pay for like OnlyFans and shit like that. Most men are just needed more than women do. Are women more prone to teasing or pleasing men? I'd say teasing. There's a lot of thirst traps online, you know, nowadays. Like all a woman gotta do it's going like Instagram, Twitter, social media, period, and just post some fire ass pictures. And then they're going to have all kind of dudes all in their inbox. Like you have a, a female shaking her ass and then have like a thousand dudes like watching that video. And out of those thousand dudes, I'm pretty sure at least half of them probably like in her inbox. Why are men shamed for being thirsty when men are typically the ones expected to pursue women? That's a really damn. If we're expected to pursue, why are we being ashamed for the pursuit? Because men are the ones who sit here and do things that are very disgusting to women as far as getting rejected. They, they will tell you that you're beautiful one moment and then they will bash you and they will do certain things just because they think you're beautiful. They also believe that what you're wearing justifies who you are. They are incapable of 
of emotion and understanding emotion, they think logically and they think physically. So because it's not coinciding with what their beliefs are, they get angry and they get aggressive. Do you think you'll ever make it to the top 5%? And if so, how long do you think it will take? No. No either, but who knows? Maybe we can go up to top 15 or 10. I'm not six foot, so I can't be in the top 10%. It would be nice, but reality is I probably won't reach it. I mean, having, having money is, is a pretty good, um, pretty good value to have, right? So how is telling men that they need to become high value not just shaming all the average men who can't make it to the top 5%. I think any man can make it to success, yeah. but not stereotypical top 5%. I think that's been popularized, popularized by media a lot. I think like, oh, like if you're not a good looking man with, that owns a fucking tower in Manhattan or something, you're not gonna get the prettiest woman on the block, right? But I, I, I like to think that that people still fall in love with character more than anything. If sex wasn't a need, wouldn't men boycott these women rather than be forced to simp for them? Yeah. Yeah. So then... They probably wouldn't want to deal with a lot of us. So then isn't that men are simping because they're forced to? You said they're forced to? Yeah. Mm, no, I just think a lot of guys are thirsty. We typically want a woman for sex. In, in all honesty, you know, um, but I mean, if we didn't want sex or if sex wasn't an option, then yeah, we, we wouldn't really be doing the things we do for a woman. Why will women often withhold sex when men have a stronger biological need for sex than women? Control, S uh, kind of power. Because women want to see if that's all that a guy is looking for. Should men withhold attention and resources when men are unhappy with women? No, that'd be fucked up. Didn't women set the terms that they needed to be served and put on a pedestal, which created simping in the first place? Absolutely. They were watching the talk shows, and they give them all this BS, and they buy into it. It's exactly what they want to hear. If sex wasn't a need for men, how would women, as a standard, manipulate men through sex? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know what they would do, because men, more and more of my friends want nothing to do with women anymore. Why are men expected to bring more to the table than they ever have in order to please women who bring less to the table than they ever have? Isn't that chivalry? Like that old school mindset, like, oh, like the, the man got to do this, the man got to protect the house, the man should be the provider, woo, woo, woo. But it's like, we're not living in those times. Like your feet work, your hands work. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can get money just like we get money. Let's both get a bag, you feel me? Women bring more to the table now. And I think that because women have have had less standards for men they have known that you know what like men are not going to do it we're going to do it for ourselves and that has made men lazy and men have actually survived off women nowadays so that is definitely a false statement men should work harder because they are stronger they are faster they have more abilities than we do they need to do more women are making a little bit more than men nowadays so that's why we have to step our game up and uh really provide and bring more to the table. If we accept that women are living life on easy mode, why are we not trying to change that rather than tell men to step their game up to appease these toxic women? I feel like it's a question of perspective. I think whatever the provider of the house does should be appreciated and that's all the payment that they need. I'd say like women are relatively more social social creatures in general and men are more competitive in nature so that probably makes it easier that men trying to step to the game rather than changing how the society works. Many women today say they don't need a man, they want a man. They don't need a man to provide for her material needs, yet men still need a woman to fulfill his sexual needs. Shouldn't men also have the option to say they don't need a woman they want a woman so that both sexes can be on a level playing field. I want a woman, you know, I don't need a woman because I can do all the things by myself. I can spend my own money by myself. I make my own money by myself. I can honestly please myself, but I want a woman for those extra things. Of course, physical things um, and an affection, you know, that I can't give myself. Nowadays, I feel like most women don't need a man because they can do all these things themselves, even also 
pleasing ourselves. They feel like they can do things by using a toy or whatnot that cause them to detach themselves from needing a man. But in all honesty, I think we do need each other. What, back in the day, uh, women really had to like keep themselves together you know to to really appeal to be able to attract a man and and um you know and in a way they felt like it was like oppressing them like keeping them down like they were subservient to a man and in today's day and age the roles are kind of reversed and it's not balanced it's not right it's not fair Life isn't fair. We are all given lemons and we're all given a lot of things. We have to deal with what we have. At the end of the day, men can sit here and cry and say that, hey, I don't have this and we, we need this, we need that. But you know what? Step up, be the man that a woman needs and find someone that suits your needs and that's it. Men have a higher sex drive and, when, and I hear it a lot that women say, I don't need a man, but I'd like to have a man. And I tell them to go down to the pound and get a puppy. Thank you. You're welcome. Buy a dog and die alone. Yeah, exactly. Buy a dog and die an old lady all by yourself.